Dearest ones, the childlike one is called to master purity and humility. God virtues, which are required to enter the kingdom of God. These holy qualities afford the soul entree into the deeper mysteries of life. For only the pure mind and humble heart may access the true state of beingness in God, to then receive ever higher teachings of divine wisdom and supernal knowledge of the One. The innocence of purity is a protective sheath of consciousness that dispels darkness and invites and invokes angelic intercession. The pure in heart may see God because they have become godly through kindness and compassion toward all beings, and they may be entrusted with a more intimate realization that springs from this humble state of consciousness. The wicked strain to control others, whereas the pure in heart simply desire to be of service, ministering to the needs of any and all who require heaven's assistance. The vain repel angelic help and the harmonics of virtue and self-realization due to their enthrallment with the ego and its vices and lower desires. Oh, how many would progress more swiftly on their path if they simply left off of pursuing fame and fortune, wealth and human knowledge and power by assenting to heaven's plan and abiding in the presence of God through pure devotion and obedience to the laws of righteousness and holy reason. As you pursue the perfectionment of your heart through a humble life of givingness and self-sacrifice, you naturally draw unto you the support you require, the virtues you need to be victorious at every turn, at every step on your path home. Courage, though rare among mortals, is natural within the being and consciousness of adepts who master every emotion and thought within the greater awareness they enter in the presence of the Eternal One. My discourses during this series are to impel you to greater God self-awareness by considering your inner Christic selfhood as paramount to your attainment through a childlike attitude of sweetness which really derives from your strength of soulfulness in God. Because the pure in heart may behold the divine through their mystical vision that may also witness to many more subtle truths which will in turn impel them higher on their walk with God and communion with divine spirits. Blessed ones, please put aside all doubts and worries that you are unworthy to experience your godhood. For the very nature of childlike joy experienced by compassionate living will keep you on the straight and narrow until you are wholly free in God's loving arms. There is no reason to divert from listening to and obeying the loving guidance of your inner self as your conscience speaks to you through the still small voice, gently directing you in every situation to the optimal experience for your training 
and all things bright and beautiful, divine and joyous. It is always heaven's desire to raise you out of mediocrity and inanity unto purity and harmony within your true selfhood in God. Yet you must be still and know the I am voice within through a willingness to continue to work within a light field of joy, a playground of perfection afforded by God to the humble of heart, the childlike ones. I work with children because this is my charge, and I overshine the childlike who love God with their whole beings, for they have already opened the portal to purity and the doorway to divinity through their humility and innocence. Blessed ones, as you pray for peace on earth and goodwill toward all, please pray for the awakening and enlightenment of all unto the higher truths that will allow them to see as we see and know as we know the ultimate truths of oneness that arise from that self-same childlike state in which God ever abides in the singularity of universal light, love, and levity, in the joy of pure beingness, the I am state of childlike awareness. I am Meta, your seamstress of truth and your mother of Christic joy. <laughs> 